Hi there and thanks for tuning in to our Black Box series. My name's Lauren and today we have a really exciting interview because we're sitting down with our Hamlet and Ophelia from our Shakespeare in Schools programme. This is the seventh year of Shakespeare in Schools and this year we will reach our 50,000th student. So before they head off on their tour to Athlone and Cork and their two weeks in Smock, um, we have Rory Lennon and Side McLaughlin. Thank you so much for coming in. Um, we just wanted to ask you some vaguely Shakespeare related questions, but also just how the production's going. Um, so thank you so much. Thank you. Thank and you. How, how, is it, how have the rehearsal process been so far? Good, very good, very yeah. efficient. Very efficient, um, yeah. We've yeah. done three weeks, um, solid rehearsals. The show's 90 minutes, so it's, it's heavily cut down yeah but uh it's taken three weeks to get it yeah. to where it is now which is and today we have your first preview yeah yeah for a school mm -hmm. and this is obviously in case anyone who doesn't know this is a leaving cert production so yeah. it's aimed geared towards the leaving cert um syllabus and obviously this year they're in 2020 they're going to be studying hamlet mm -hmm. and so it's a condensed version that really hits the key scenes yeah. uh, key yeah. characters key themes and um, so this could also possibly be one of the first times some of the audience members ever see a Shakespearean production. Mm -hmm. It's a big responsibility. And some of them may not have even seen live theatre before. So with that in mind, do you guys remember your first time seeing live theatre? And yeah. how it influenced you? Yeah, I don't know if it was the, actually the first time I saw anything, but it was definitely the one that sticks in my mind. It was, the year was 1998. Um, it was my first year of secondary school and uh, the school put on a production of Philadelphia, Here I Come. And yeah, I was blown away by it. I was so moved by it. Yeah. And it's still my favorite play, or one of them. And I uh, actually used a monologue from it to audition for the Gaiety. Oh, that's and, such yeah. a nice story. Yeah. yeah. And it was students in the school who were performing? Students in the school with a great drama teacher, Mr. Gallagher, and he directed shows every year. And this was, the, since I got to the school, was the first one uh, that I saw. And yeah, I loved it, loved it. Yeah. Mm. It's amazing what an impact you yeah. yeah. can have on yourself. I, it wasn't my first, but it's the first show that I saw that I was like, whoa. Um, Enron. Now I couldn't tell you what it was about. I was twelve. Uh, didn't know what was going on. But it was really. It was like from what I saw, it was amazing, and it blew me away. And I still remember. Brilliant. And like so, we were kind of discussing as well that around this time of year, obviously we do Shakespeare in Schools every year, and it always comes up. You know, what was your favorite show? Uh, what, what's your favorite Shakespearean play? And a lot of the time, people get really emotionally attached to the play that they did for their leaving search. Yeah. You guys didn't do the leaving search because you were in Belgium and you're from the north. north yeah. So, um, but did you have a similar play that you have a connection with from kind of your first experience with Shakespeare? Or, yeah. or indeed, controversy, do you, did you hate the first <laughs> time that you interacted with Shakespeare? The first time I interacted with Shakespeare, I, I struggled with it a lot. I, I just found it very difficult. Um, but I always enjoyed it. I don't think that I never, I never particularly saw the fascination with Hamlet. I'll be honest. But now I do. Now I get it. Yeah. I, well, I get it. Joe's pretty good at his job. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I did for A level. I did King Lear, but the first one we studied was at GCSE, and that was Macbeth. And it's like it was an all boys school. Macbeth's like the ultimate yeah. violent thriller. So it was like I made a really good teacher, and we watched. Uh, videos of productions mm. that were varying in quality but it's such a good play and i yeah i was kind of mm. really opened my mind to it yeah. and, and, I was and is there a role a shakespearean role that you guys like either of you would have your eye on and it's like that's the ultimate the pinnacle i don't have an ultimate one but i'd love to play lady Macbeth yeah. or mm. um Titania from Midsummer Night's Dream. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Any, anyone from Midsummer Night's Dream, really. Yeah. Yeah. I really love uh, Much Ado About Nothing. I'd love to do Benedict from that. Mm. I think that'd be such good fun. So, and it's a it's a long run for you guys ahead. Um, and this is the, the last day of rehearsals. So, or not even, this is a preview day. So, yeah. uh, you've 38 shows ahead. Do you have any kind of <laughs> <laughs> ideas of how you're going to mind yourselves over like, so like tips for other actors, maybe you'll have them by the end of the run, mind, body, so how are you going to look after yeah. your I mean, instruments? Our shows are, are, our first show is at half nine every morning, so 
I guess it's kind of doing a good warm up, getting up, yeah. you know, relatively refreshed from the night yeah. before and doing a good vigorous warm up mm. vocally and physically and and then just not you know, having crazy late nights. Yeah. yeah drink yeah. some green tea. Yeah. For me it's sleep as well. Yeah. Sleep, yeah. um yoga, daily yoga. And vitamins. Okay, yeah. Vitamins, true. lots of vitamins. Um and yeah, good warm up as mm. well. Yeah. Can be kinda easy to not eat well when you're when you're on yeah. tour and stuff especially. Yeah, but trying to eat, trying to eat. I suppose you'd be wrapped up or fairly early. It's yeah. kind of like switching yeah. your set schedule around. Yeah, I think the latest we're done is like half three, so yeah. like, it's about the, the whole to relax, afternoon yeah. and evening. Yeah. Exactly. Well, mind yourselves. Um, and I suppose our kind of a big question, you've had the opportunity to work with Joe Dowling, who is a phenomenal, internationally renowned director, who we're so honoured to have on board. Um, and Joe has worked on Abbey and Gate and Go 3 mm-hmm. Theatre on Shakespearean productions, so what will be your, and of course other productions, what will be your lasting impact of your time working with Joe? What will you take away from that? Um, I mean, there's a few things. I think particularly with Shakespeare, he, he talks a lot about just bringing it back to the text. So, whereas I would have had a habit before of, of, of learning it and then paraphrasing it a lot, which is not a good thing. Um, but he's very much about just bringing it back to the text and the text tells you everything. Mm. Um, and just, yeah, as a general thing, just doing the work really, just be prepared. Yeah. And um, the way he's done the rehearsal schedule works really well, I feel. We're doing 11 till five straight through and then two, uh, one 10 minute break, one 20 minute break and one 10 minute break. So just, there's a, there's a few, little, for me anyway, there's a few little things like that where, um, yeah, which were yeah, yeah, just just a lot of things he said as well. Yeah, he's really, really meticulous, yeah. like he really breaks it down. And you might have like a preconceived idea about how something's gonna be or should be. Mm. And it might be, the, he's like, well, what if you try this? And it's like the complete opposite of what yeah. you're doing. And it's like, okay, well, this isn't gonna work. And then it, it does, and you're yeah. like, wow, he's so much experience, like yeah. he's directed. Hamlet like three or four times. Yeah. Before, yeah. And even just yeah, he just knows so like in one little line he'd be like, and this means this and this and this and this and this and you're like, okay, I didn't get that. But <laughs> yeah. now I, you know true education. As yeah, well. yeah. Like a job yeah. yeah. Oh my god. Well, I mean, as much as you guys are lucky to have worked with them, we're so lucky and the students are incredibly blessed to be able to see this production. So thank you so much um, for filling us in a little bit more and what to expect over the next few weeks. And good luck with the tour. Thank Thanks. you. Thanks.